Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks so much for stopping by. In this video, I'm going to make a loot llama for a Valentine's Day box. So let's get started. As you can see here, I have already traced out a llama. I just found this little drawing um, on Google and I'm using a shoebox for like the um, actual materials. And I just traced it a little bit bigger than what I found online because it didn't print very big and then I'll be cutting it out twice. So now you can see that I'm using um, the scraps from the shoe box and I'm kind of like bending it and like manipulating it so that way I can glue both sides together. So as you can see, um, my piece is actually pretty wide. I do suggest you do something thinner, um, but I did want this to be able to sit the Valentine's Day box on top of it. Or um, my original idea was to have an opening at the top so that way you can just drop your um, Valentine's inside. But coming towards the end, it just didn't sit right. Um, it wasn't big enough. I just needed it to be larger, but for their classroom, they had a certain size that they can only have their um, Valentine's Day boxes as. So I couldn't make it too big.
for like some of the awkward um, spots, I just ended up using tape because um, the hot glue gun would not be able to get like in some of the cracks and stuff. And then you can also see that I extended the llama's like belly part um, because it seemed really small. Like it just didn't look like it was gonna be able to hold any type of um, Valentine's Day boxes. So I extended it a little bit. I just used some scraps and made it a little bit longer. And then you'll also see me um, to cut off one, cut off the back legs and move them down a little bit more to kind of make it look a little more proportion. So as you can see here, I'm adding a little bit of stability with the legs. I'm adding a piece of cardboard in between as well. Okay, so now I'm using some tissue paper for like wrapping gifts and stuff. Um, so I'm using this to put on top of it as like a base and I'm using Mod Podge to make it stick. You can kind of use wrapping paper if you want. It was just hard for me to find like purple and navy blue. Um, so I actually found these at Target, but I think Dollar Tree has the purple, not the navy blue. They were still um, $1.50. So it's total, I actually spent three bucks on this whole little Valentine's Day box.
So while that dries, I completely covered it with the um, tissue paper in purple. Now while it dries, I'm going to be making like the little llama like shingles. Um, I'm just taking the tissue paper, cutting it down to size and cutting like little um, slits down the side as you can see here. I'm not sure if I'm explaining that correctly, but you can kind of see what I'm doing. So I did this for purple, the navy blue, also I did this for like a teal color as well. Now, as you can see here, I am just adding the shingles to the side of the llama. Um, I'm doing it layered. I started with purple, then I did navy blue, and then I did the lighter blue on top, and then I'll end it with purple as well. So this is what it looks like once it was completely done. Um, it's still a little wet, as you can see, a little bit of Mod Podge right there that I'll clean up later. But this is what it looks like. Um, so far, we're getting the whole llama look and shape of it. Um, and then I just added my little touches to it. So I added like a little um, sign on each side. I added the little um, reins and an eyeball. I just used regular paper and put a dot with a Sharpie on it. Well, like I said before, it wasn't enough room for me to put a slit at the top for Valentine's Day boxes. So I ended up using a little box that we had at home. I just covered it in some um, navy blue tissue paper and put it on top. So it actually worked out really well. Please make sure you guys hit the subscribe button if you guys like DIYs and home decor videos. Thanks for watching.